Well hello and here we are then with Banshee, the next one in the shooter's uh, bash, uh, the CD32 version of course. Um, yes, it's available on your Mega 1200 as well on about four floppy disks. Uh, it's too big a game to fit on a 500 or 600. So um, the game itself, very small manual from Core Design, uh, likes of Jaguar XJ220, uh, obviously later on things like Tomb Raider for the PlayStation. But Banshee then, uh, only come out on the uh, 1200 and CD32, didn't get any other console releases or nothing. Uh, just quickly explain this status panel to you and the pickups you can get. Uh, there you go, score, lives, loops, build ups and your shield. Your shield gradually goes down and it takes hits. Uh, I think every 10,000 points you get an extra life so that's not too bad. It could be a two player game as you can see there. Uh, you can split the power ups or fight for them etc. Obviously I'm playing this on my own. It uh, doesn't tell you too much about the actual power-ups, but there you go, speed up loop, extra life, extra shield. Uh, builds up your shield again and gives you a very temporary inv invincibility. Uh, firepower, obviously, homing missiles, heavy missiles, side shot, some really good things there. And there's also a smart bomb, you'll see a few of them go off, no doubt. Um, it takes a while to build up your weapons, that's the only problem. So it's a very, very tough game, even from early on. Uh, I'll try and show you a few of the levels. So there's four levels in the game and they clock in around 12 minutes on average. So that's a fairly large game, despite only being four levels. They go on for a while. So it'll probably be a bit of editing, some uh, my special dodgy editing. Uh, and try and enjoy the game. So the CD32 is ready. There we go. I'll chuck the disc in and away we go. Okay, I'm ready as I'll ever be. So. Pretty much flying shark this is, or homage to it, and a good one too. Alright, what we have then, uh, score at the top left corner, your lives, loops, we do loops in this game, which uh, Like a, a brief invincibility sort of thing, get you out of trouble sort of thing. But while you're doing a loop, you also have a This bit always reminds me of Squib a little bit from the helicopters. That's a bomb, I thought I'd show you that one. So I'm getting out of a little bit of trouble. And you can gradually build up with quite a decent weapons arsenal. As you see here, I've now got a uh, 45 degree shot. <sighs> Wasn't very good, was it? It is so tough at the start of the game, unfortunately. So we've got two planes then, these are the first of uh, quite a few bosses. You see in the middle left of the icon, uh, the status panel on the other side. It uh, shows you a vial and it shows you the, the energy of the boss going down as you're shooting. So not too hard that one. Another one coming up pretty soon and it's uh, a bit tougher. An extra life for that. 
I think every 10,000 points you get an extra life as well. Could be wrong on that, but... Okay, we can't boss time again. have two attacks and all the time we've got attacks going on planes are dive bombing you I know you can go music, but uh, plenty of uh, different sort of sound effects going on. So we'll shoot the bridge, get the tinging sound. See my shield almost out, so it's not looking too good already. just to choose another extra life, that's good. These little green barrels are just shot there, release uh, icons. So I've improved my 45 degree shot. So a loop I picked up there. You can see why this didn't get a release on the A500. 600, just too much going on. The old machine wouldn't be able to handle it. I'd love to be able to point out all the little things that are going on here, but it's just too much, so hopefully you can just see it. These tanks are turning swivel and fire here. Train. Shoot this middle carriage here, and a big old bomb goes off. So the screen's uh, it's almost twice as long, uh, twice as wide rather. So unless you fly from side to side, you don't know what you're missing. Which could be bonuses.
Men man är väl far on ahead. Lovely detail in this game. The amount of attention to detail, it's just this first level, let alone the, the other three levels. So impressive. And you finally make it to the boss. Odd, oddest boss, one of the oddest bosses I've uh, come across. the loops, which sure are invincible, it means you can get in there and take out this, uh, that's what you're aiming for, it's just the top bit here, and there we go. See, it's raining once again. Next level, you get snow. We've had fog already as well. Oh, this is a nice touch coming up. Great big old church here, as you can see. Thunder and lightning. And out come some soldiers to shoot you out of the graves. Here's one of them planes then, uh, he releases parachutes as you can see, and they quite happily fire at you. Brief respite, not long long though. Not got a bad weapons line up now. Got like a five Y fire, right? There's another woman with a pram. Don't know if you could see that, she actually looked before crossing the road. Alright, we're coming up to a, the boss. He's a pain in the ass this one. Shoot his hands. Got rid of him, but he uh, took one of my lives as well.
See the old gangster mobile there. Screech to a halt, start firing. Okay, this boss is a pain. Very tough boss. Three then is actually uh, not that good a looking level in a way. First, we've got to get through this minefield. Shoot the people off the uh, snow buggies. They can't fire at you. And yes, what you can see there is a polar bear. Polar bears in this level, and if you put the cheat in, or as a, a cheat, a, something you can type in, uh, you can actually shoot the polar bears if you wanted to, which I don't think is very nice. A banshee then pretty impressive but there you go didn't last very long uh yeah thanks for watching guys see you again soon